Your child might need Kaori Kids. Your child is bright, beautiful, with a great potential, but your child has difficulty with some academic work. Your child can concentrate on tasks when interested, but your child has difficulty to sit still and has difficulty to focus in class. Your child can behave well and is a special, caring person inside. But your child has difficulty to complete work in time and has difficulty to follow instructions. Your child is doing all right in sport, but doesn't enjoy it much and has a tendency to be clumsy. Teachers comment that your child disrupts the class or need to work just a little bit harder or just should focus on tasks and then the work will be easy. Or the teacher recommend that you should work on your child's social skills. You are not alone. Your child might also be a preschooler and you want to prepare your child for academic learning and to prevent any learning problems. Once again, you and your child are not alone. I have seen hundreds of children just like yours because of the work I love as an experienced pediatric occupational therapist. Your child's issues are probably related to some de developmental delays. Sometimes it can be minor delays. Have a look at this image. This is a, like a pyramid and this is how I look at a child's development. The development starts right at the bottom in the little blue box there. You can see that's modulation and integration of senses or you can call it sensory processing and if there are problems it's sensory processing disorder. This, this um, integration of senses and it starts to develop long before birth. So that is really the foundation of development. And we learn so many things by using our senses. The next stage of development is the, uh, the dark yellow orange block. Um, and that is the effective movement of the body in space. We call that our sensory motor skills, and there are many of them. I'm not going into the detail now. So uh, what happens there is that the child learns how to use the body in space. The child learns how to move, how to jump, how to run. The, the development of that stage is mainly up to two years, but it continues up to six, seven years as well. Then in the little green box, um, you get the perception of objects and shapes, and that is built on top of the previous development. So if there are problems with the sensory motor skills or with sensory processing, then usually they have problems with the perception of objects. They might have also problems with fine motor skills and with tasks like memory. On top of that, the problem solving skills develop and to be creative and to build personal relationships and to have some kind of emotional regulation. So all of that develops long before the child needs to go to school. And it's very important for this development to take place because look at this image of the iceberg. What we see of the iceberg is the little tip that is above the surface of the water but it is supported by a big, big chunk of ice under the surface of the water. Um, the same thing happens in this pyramid of the child's development. There's a little tip at the top, which we see at, in the classroom, that little yellow bit. But it is supported by all the developmental skills that had to develop before the child enters the first day in school. If there are cracks in the bottom of that iceberg, there will be cracks in the tip or the tip might even fall apart. The same thing happens in a child. There might be little tiny cracks in the basis and the foundation of development and that will create tiny cracks with reading or writing or emotional stability, concentration, 
there might be big cracks in the basic and foundation of development and it might create big cracks in the child's um, ability to learn, to focus and to enjoy the task of learning in class. So these skills, the sensory motor skills, are extremely important and that is why my program focus on these skills. I have seen so many times in therapy that once these skills are well developed, many of the classroom skills develop as well. I have seen that kids focus better, they can have better self-regulation, they are just happier, they are more confident once the sensory motor skills are in place and well developed. And it can develop up to in adulthood. It just takes a little bit longer. So the sooner you start, the younger the child is, the better it is and the quicker it goes to fix the problem. Okay, let's have at one of the sensory motor skills, as, as I said, there are many, but one of them we call bilateral integration and sequencing. And I have found through the years that once this specific one is in place, many of the other skills develop as well. But there's a whole process for this to develop. And I want to show you um, one of the best ways to see how this works is to look at a baby crawling. So first of all, to be able to crawl, the baby needs some strong core muscles. That's really important. They need a little bit of balance. Um, but then also look at this. The right knee and the left arm work at the same time and they work together. Um, so it is the two sides of the body that work together in a very um, coordinated way and if a baby can crawl very well it's usually a rhythmical movements and it's sequential movement so lots of sequencing the one and then the other this one that one this one that one left right left right um, and this is the way the baby practice to be able to run like this boy look at this boy his right knee and his left arm are working together. He is running in a very coordinated way. So to, to be a good runner did not happen the moment the child starts to run. The practice of running and the training for running starts when the baby is crawling already. So that is what I explain in the pyramid. The development starts at the bottom and one task or one skill is built on the previous skill. So the next skill after the coordinated running and the coordinated movement, big movements of the body at a good direction, sense of direction, which, which one is left, which one is right. Once that is in place, then the child will know the difference between a D and a B and they won't reverse their letters. Once that is in place, they understand sequences. So they understand the sequence in like the alphabet or in counting, but they also understand sequences like the letters in a word when they have to remember the spelling. They also remember, they understand a sequence like the sequence of words in a sentence when they have to construct a sentence. Or what I also see, um, and, and you all know a little child will be confused. Um, did it happen yesterday? Did it happen today? Is it going to happen tomorrow? That's okay for a two, three year old. But once the child is in school, they should know what happened before morning tea, what happened after morning tea, and um, what am I going to do after lunch this afternoon? Those kinds of things are really tricky for kids that don't have a good bilateral integration and sequencing skill. So that is why we have a lot of these exercises including, included in Kaori Kids programs. So I know all of this because I have more than 40 years experience in working with children. I've been an occupational therapist forever. I've been 
working with children for a very long period of time. Of time. I did my master's degree. I authored two books. I have experience in developmental delays in learning problems, autism, anxiety, um, and, and a lot of other diagnoses and a lot of other problems that children run into um, in any in any stage of their life. And I really love to work with children. So I created a home program to help you and your child. Once again, look at the foundation of development. And I, as I have said before, I've seen so many of these um, kids that once the sensory motor skills are in place, they can cope so much better in life. And that is why the program focuses on this area of development so that reading and writing and spelling can be easy for the child and so that they can have emotional stability and good working practices. So let's look at the, 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 um, the brain. Um, so the, the program and the sensory motor skills are in the more um, brain stem and midbrain areas. Um, so we call that um, the brain stem, the midbrain is, and the cerebellum is part of that. And that is very important for movement. But we also know by now that these areas have strong connections with the other areas in the brain. So they have strong connections with the cognitive skills, the thinking brain, the problem solving areas of the brain, the memory areas of the brain. So if you can build new pathways in your child's brain, Brain, where there are gaps in development, to build those pathways, to fill the gaps in the development, then the child will be able to use the cognitive skills and the thinking brain with ease and with joy. So once again, you and your child are not alone. We are there to help you. Your child is bright, beautiful, with a great potential, and you are a loving and caring parent but your child struggles and we can help. My work ex experience includes a lot of work with children. I've been in private practice. I've been in various other um, places where I work, mainly individual therapy sessions. Um, I mentor numerous therapists. I present webinars, workshops, and I have done numerous training after postgraduate training. My home program is called Coordi Child. It's online video recordings of exercises and those exercises I have used for many, many years in therapy sessions. And I have seen that these are better if you can do it daily at home and it develops in quicker and in a better way than you, when you do it daily at home than when you visit the therapist once a fortnight or once a week. These exercises are just followed by the child on the videos. Repetition develops the new pathways in the brain. It develops the essential skills needed for learning. It's very affordable. And you and your child will love the two actors, Paul and Sam. They are both occupational therapists and they are just lovely and the kids enjoy so much to do these exercises with them. Additionally, Kaori Kids improves self-regulation, it helps with concentration, it improves the following of directions and instructions, it helps your child to complete tasks in time, and it complements individual therapy sessions. I personally have kids in therapy who do Kaori Kids at home, and then that leaves the time in therapy free for me to work on other aspects of development. To purchase the program, click next to the screen, try it now. The exercises are immediately available for you to use. There are 26 fortnights of exercises to give enough time for repetition and to make sure that the new pathways are built in the brain. 
you get an additional 12 months uh, um, of uh, access to these exercises. So you pay for 26 fortnights, but you have additional 12 months access to all the exercises so that you can repeat fortnights if necessary. You can take a break um, or you can go on holiday or your child might fall ill and you might not be able to do it um, in, you know, over a full year period. So you have more months available to um, repeat and to take breaks. It's only 15 minutes per day, only five times per week, and you have support from the Cody Kids team, and you have a three-month back guarantee, which is not bad. You and your child are not alone. We are there to support you. You can book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. You can do that free on go to Kaori Consult and you just write chat with Marga in the comment section and we will know that this will be a free session for you and you can discuss your child's problems and um, how he's coping on the program um, and any other issues that you want to discuss. We want to help you and your child not to feel like this. It is terrible to see a child that struggles, that are frustrated, um, that are labeled with bad behavior, if that is not true, if they are um, part of development that we can help with. We want your child to, to be like this. Excited about learning, enjoying learning on top of the world, in control, with a good self-image. So please contact us, make use of this fantastic service and this great program. We have developed it for you.